Now let's dive right into it. How do we cover the golf ball? And first, let me talk about what the wrong way to do this is, which would be a flip or a scoop. And I think a lot of times people misinterpret. They think that you try to flip or scoop to get the ball up in the air. So if I'm flipping this golf ball or my hands are flipping, a lot of times what I've found is this is an effort for power. So we're gonna talk about how to be powerful without flipping that. But if I flip one here, you're gonna see how my hands are leaning back and it makes it really difficult to hit the ball solid. So there, I tried to hit it solid, but I scooped it a little bit. I picked it clean off the ground, kind of thinned it. I came up a good 20 yards short of the green and it really just didn't have that compression that I really want on there. It feels more powerful because I'm pushing my wrist at the golf ball or I'm pushing my wrist which would be this way toward the target. That feels like that should speed up the club head, but that's actually not the right way to speed up the club head. If we cover the golf ball, we can get that club head to accelerate under its own power to really whip through contact and make golf a lot easier. So the first move, let's go over that again here. If I'm flipping, I'm taking my right palm, my right hand, and I'm pushing it toward the target. If you look at the, the muscles on the inside of your forearm, those are flexing to get you to push your hand forward toward the target. A lot of times also when that hand pushes forward, I run out of room here and my arms will start to chicken wing or my left elbow will bend as I come into the follow through. That's from that pushing type motion. Now, again, like I said, that seems powerful. I'm using a lot more muscular force here, but I'm not creating the acceleration that I want in the club head. Now, if we cover the golf ball, and all that means is you can kind of think of the loft on this club face at address as being up into the sky. What you're gonna feel like is you're turning this loft down and you're gonna cover that loft on top of the golf ball. So if I'm looking at this from address, I'm feeling like, this is the sensation I have in my mind, is that I'm covering and I'm taking this golf club and covering it on top of the golf ball like that. That's a sensation. Again, it's not exactly what's happening, but that's a feeling. You'll also feel like your right hand, your right palm, instead of flipping, it's gonna feel like the right palm of your hand covers on top of that golf ball also. So I'm really getting my body, my hand. You'll notice that my posture is on top of that golf ball. I'm not standing up out of the shot like this. Everything is covering on top of that. So it's the club face covering it, it's the right palm covering it, and it's the fact that I'm still in my posture covering on top of the golf ball, which is where that term covering the golf ball, compressing the golf ball, really, you know, uh, uh, almost like de-lofting the club comes from. So why, how could that create a lot of speed? It doesn't seem like that's gonna be very powerful. It seems like it should be more powerful to really flip that club on through there. This actually happens because when you're in this covering type position, you're actually still releasing the club. The club is on the way to releasing, but it's the fact that you still have this forward shaft lean that allows you to whip that club on through. So if I can imagine here, let me take a club that has forward shaft lean on it and let me pull the butt into this grip up. Watch what happens to the club head. It really accelerates on through there. A very small amount of force on the butt end of this club can get that club to whip on through. The only way I can do that though is to have some lag and forward shaft lean as I'm starting down. So here, as I'm starting my downswing, there's a couple things I want you to feel. Number one, I want you to feel like your right wrist is bent back, really, really bent back. Number two, and this is very important, I want you to feel like you're swinging inside out or out to the right. I almost feel like when you're swinging this club, if I'm facing the camera here, I'm swinging the club this way, about 45 degrees out to the right. As I open my body, that's gonna allow that club to square up. All right, so that's the first two pieces, wrist back, swinging out to the right. And then number three, I still wanna be releasing this golf club, but I wanna release it in front of this golf ball. So if I put a golf ball kind of down my target line here, say four or five feet in front, I'm imagining that I'm going from this covered position to releasing that golf ball and now I've gotten rid of all these wrist angles up here. That allows me to get this compression on the golf ball at contact and still release it to get the speed. Now let's put those pieces together. On the first couple reps, I want you to do five or six of these while you're practicing. Focus only on the right wrist. The right wrist is staying back and I'm going to feel like I keep my body rotating all the way through to a good full finish to accelerate all the way around. So here I'm really going to feel like my right wrist is back. That club is covering on top of it, and I'm gonna to accelerate to a good full finish position. Let's see if we can hit a nice one here. There we go, that one's right at the flag. Just probably 10 feet right of the flag, hit that one nice and solid. So there, again, the right wrist is back. I'm still getting speed because my, I'm naturally gonna release out in front. 
The second five or 10 reps I want you to do here, we're gonna focus in on that inside out motion that we mentioned. So if we start to come over the top and feel like we have this big lag angle, I'm gonna start chopping down into it. To be nice and shallow and thin and kit that ball cleanly off the ground, I need to have the sensation that I'm swinging this way, out to the right. It's only when my body opens up, and you can see as my hips start to open, that's gonna square that up to where I'm swinging toward the target. A lot of players keep their hips square and they hit at it with their hands and arms, with their wrist. That's not what we wanna do. We wanna have the momentum of the body, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit, carry it through there. So the sensation is I'm swinging out to the right, and since my body's opening up, that actually squares me up going toward the target. So this second five or so reps, to get a little more comfortable with it, right wrist back, you're swinging to the right, and you're gonna let your opening body square everything up. So let's go ahead and try that out. There we go, another good one. Just barely left of the flag on that one. I actually hit that one too good, that's gonna be a little long. Yeah, just about 10 or 15 feet past the flag. Now, from there, let's go to the last piece here. This releasing out in front, which is the last key to covering the golf ball. Now, if I'm covering this golf ball, again, the misconception a lot of players have is they're gonna get this wrist angle here, I'm gonna be down, and then I'm just gonna hold all that off. If I do that, I lose tons of speed. I need to release this golf club toward that golf ball out in front. So I'm gonna have these same ideas, these same sensations. Wrist back, swinging out to the right. But when I go ahead and swing through, I'm gonna go ahead and let that all release. Everything's going out in front of this golf ball. I'm gonna let all that energy from the club release toward the target. And that's also what keeps it really square as you're coming through. That nice square face gliding through the golf ball, going out toward the target that's gonna make things a lot easier. If I feel like I'm holding off on it, it's gonna open, I'm gonna block it to the right, a lot of bad stuff's gonna happen. So I have to go ahead and let that club head go as I'm making this swing. Let's give that one a whirl. There we go, another one nice on the green, just a little right of the flag. So those are really gonna help you to what's called cover or compress the golf ball, those three areas there. That's just the first piece. I got some really, more, another few great tips that are gonna help you to build on this and get your game even more consistent. Okay, so that's a covering of the golf ball. That's really gonna help to get those wrist angles really good. Now let's talk about how we can get a lot of that, you know, feeling like you're pushing again, that flipping, that scooping, like the arms are doing all the work. How do we get away from that and get the momentum coming from the body? And there's actually a pretty common mistake that brings us to our second key, which is if we're gonna be a really good iron player, we have to let the body build the momentum and then the, the arm just add a little speed to it. So to get that momentum from the, bottom, from the body, the body has to continue to rotate through the shot. Now, earlier in this video, I mentioned that if we wanna cover this golf ball, it's the forward shaft lean from the club, which is actually gonna be releasing past the golf ball. That's completely fine, that's what we want. It's this right wrist at impact being kind of angled back, feeling like your palm is covering the golf ball, and then that's releasing after impact. And then third, I mentioned that your upper body or your posture, you have to be kind of down where your upper body's feeling like it's on top of this golf ball, which is gonna help you to feel that sensation of covering that. Now, what most players do, what they get wrong, is that when they're hitting this iron shot, they tend to let their hips come forward, their upper body comes up and back, and now all of a sudden, if I was to have this covered motion to really have the forward shaft lean, I couldn't reach the golf ball, all right? If I was covered, I'd be here, but if I stand up out of my posture, all of a sudden I can't reach the golf ball. So what do I do to solve this problem? I start to flip and scoop like we talked about we don't wanna do earlier, and that creates all that bad contact. So if we wanna get the momentum from the body, there's two things that have to happen here. We have to get it in a position to where I can be down and covered and stay in my posture but then still have everything moving on through. That's where the big key comes in. A lot of players that try to cover the golf ball, what they'll do is they'll stay down in their posture, but then they just stay down in it forever, right? So it ends up being all arms, it doesn't work, and it feels terrible. What we actually wanna have happen here is, as I start my downswing, if you imagine my belt buckle, if there's a laser shooting out of that, as I start my downswing, I want that to be going down toward the golf ball. So my hips are kind of down toward the golf ball, my chest is down toward the golf ball. But then as I finish my swing, now all that comes up. My belt buckle's facing up toward the target. My chest is nice and high. If I had a laser shooting out of my shirt buttons, it would be nice and high here. And I'm coming all the way along around, my chin's even nice and high. 
that allows me to complete the swing and that's when I actually have extension. So early extension, as a lot of people call it, or what would be the opposite of covering the golf ball, is when my upper body extends early. It extends in the downswing as I'm coming into the golf ball. The proper extension or later extension would be I'm coming down, covering the golf ball, and then I extend up as I come through the fall through. The cool thing about this, it ties in with exactly what we talked about when we took this butt in the club and we let it whip through the ball. If I get a bunch of this lag, and now I'm down in my posture, as I extend up, I'm taking this grip and I'm pulling it up that allows the club to whip on through with a ton of momentum. Now I can use the momentum of my body. Now I can use my hips and the big muscles of my body to carry that club through there. So let's try this out. Do another five or 10 reps for me. As you start your downswing, feel like everything, until your left arm is about halfway in the downswing, feel like everything's getting closer to the ground. My belt buckle's down, my chest is down, everything's down. I feel like I'm really gonna be close to this ball covering on top of it. And then as you finish, so we're gonna pause in that position a few times. So go back to your setup, pause and fill that position. And then as I finish, I'm letting everything whip on through. Now my belt buckle's up, my chest is up, my chin is up, and I'm coming to that good full finish position. Five or 10 of those, just pausing in each piece. Pause here, and then pause in the good full finish. You're gonna start to build that muscle memory. And what you're gonna feel, the sensation I get, is almost like my body is doing a lot of the momentum and the club is just swinging along. My club and arms are just swinging with the momentum of our body. Like we talked about early, those hands swinging out to the right. As my body momentum opens up, that squares the face. That gets this club really working with us rather than against us. So let's try that out again. Watch as I first start my downswing, my chest feels like it's getting closer to the ground. Then I'm coming to that good full finish. Let's give it a whirl. See if I can cover this one and really let that club release out in front of this golf ball. All right, nice and solid, definitely covered it. You can see I stayed in my posture. All right, so we covered piece number one. We gotta cover the ball. We gotta really compress it. Piece number two, we gotta create momentum from the body by using those hips and really coming through to that good full finish. And piece number three, we have to make sure that we're shallow and we don't chop down into this golf ball. If we start to come start a downswing and our butt into the club, imagine there's a laser pointing out of this. It's pointing inside the golf ball. Now all of a sudden I'm gonna chop down into this. Or again, if I feel myself starting to come down really steeply, what's the natural thing? I bet you're a really good athlete and you do this without even having to think about it. You start down a little steep and then to shallow that out, you let the hips come forward, you let the body back out, and then all of a sudden you flip a little bit to keep yourself from slamming this club down into the, into the golf, into the ground. What we have to do now is to shallow that club out. So if I was making a swing here and I paused again, kind of in the first half of my downswing, I want the butt end of that club to be pointing either, if we're looking from down the line, either at the golf ball or a little outside the golf ball so that now, again, as I extend on through, that club's coming nicely down the plane line and I can whip on through there, get that club to release in front without having to shallow it out. If I start down steep again, if I try to cover it, bam, I'm slamming down into the ground. So what you're naturally gonna do, if you start down steep, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna flip. So all these things tie into each other. Now you remember in the first part of this video, I talked about how you wanna have this sensation that you're swinging out to the right. This is really gonna pair up with what I'm about to talk about here. I wanna feel like that club is shallowed out there and it feels like I'm swinging out to the right. So if I pause myself halfway down and I didn't open my body at all, my body was square, I wanna feel like I'm in a position where I could swing this way. All right, that club would be really shallow here. I'm coming away from the inside. The only thing that squares that up is now, as my body rotates on through, that brings that club coming through and allows it to whip on through. So if you imagine, if I get this club way to the inside and I open up my body, look how that really whips the club on through. So I'm just opening my body and the momentum of the club wants it to whip through from shallow, shallow position. What I don't wanna do here, if I was steep and I opened up my body, watch what's gonna happen. That club's gonna to wanna to really get stuck under, really chop down. It's almost gonna to wanna to hit me. I'm working against the momentum of the club. If I'm shallow, I can open up and work with the momentum of the club. So here, I want you to make a couple practice swings, pause halfway down and really feel like to you, before you're opening your hips, you're setting up to swing to this golf bag over here. 
I'm just gonna swing way to the right like that. If I was to hit a golf ball doing that, without opening my body, it would look something like this. Way over there, I think I probably hit that one in the water, almost 30, 45 degrees right. <clears throat> That's because I didn't let the momentum of my body open everything up. I'm gonna make that same swing now, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up my hips and that's gonna sling everything toward the target. That's a real big key there. Look at all the tour players. Look at their body at contact. You're not gonna see anybody in this position on the PGA Tour. You'll see a lot of guys that are opening the hips at contact, really finishing that swing coming back to the left. So the third key here is you're gonna feel like halfway down, the butt end of your club is pointing way out to the right and you're gonna feel like that club is nice and shallow then you let your body open up to square back up the face. Let's give that a whirl. There we go, I might hit that one the best of any of them. All right, so let's recap on these really good keys. Number one, we wanna cover the ball. That happens from my right wrist, my club face, and my body all being on top of the golf ball. The big key there is that I can't hold this angle forever. I have to release that club after contact. I don't want to be flipping into here. I want to be feeling like that club swinging to the right and my right hand is covering on top of that golf ball. Number two, we have to use the momentum of the body. If I stop my momentum and I keep everything feeling like it's down toward the ground, I never come up out of that, I'm going to have to use all hands and arms. You're naturally not going to do that. What you're going to do is early extend and start to flip doing that. We don't want to do that. We have to make sure that we get that nice squat Everything is staying covered over top of the golf ball, but then as we come to the finish, we're really letting the belt buckle, the chest, the chin, everything come up. And again, that's gonna whip this club on through, let the club do the work for you. Then number three, we can't be steep. If I start down and feel like my club shaft is steep like this, as I open up, that's gonna get me in a terrible position. I need to feel like I'm shallowing out, swinging way out to the right, and then let my opening body carry the club toward the target. If we do those three pieces, we're gonna put them all together. We're gonna hit those nice, crisp, clean golf shots, and you're gonna feel really, really confident when you're sitting over top of your iron shots.